Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to Shadowplay Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm so excited to get back to creating this content regularly for you guys. So today's reading is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be kind of a mini read, but I wanted this to be kind of like a supplement to our horoscopes. I figured that today we would just get straight to the point and do a horoscope love reading. So I've never um, done this before. We'll see what comes out. We'll see what spirit wants to communicate. So yeah, this will be a mini read and we will do a little bit of tarot. We'll pull some um, oracle cards from our romance oracle deck and then think of a yes or no question because I will be using the pendulum at the end of every sign. So um, yeah, start thinking about your yes or no question. Let me see, what else did I want to go over? Oh, I did want to mention that my candles are now available at the shop. I can't remember if I said that during the last pick a card. I think I forgot, but um, they are. Tonight I'm using 50-50, and this one's really good for like, I mean, it's just like such a mood booster. It smells like orange sherbet, um, like an orange creamsicle. And it's very like nostalgic in a way. It reminds me of summers at like my favorite local ice cream shop and just being carefree and, you know, living in a different time. I do want to show you guys um, one of the most popular ones in the shop right now is Ceremony. Uh, this one, I like to call it like it's kind of a prayer and meditation candle. It's specifically for that. It also cleanses your space of negative energies, kind of like a limpia in a jar, kind of like if you um, burn sage or palo santo, it, it has like a similar effect. It just clears the energy space. And I mean, I just love doing this because I love looking at the hologram. <laughs> All of the labels are individually like designed. I'm like obsessed with staring at them. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and check out our shop at shadowplaycollective.com. And so without further ado, let's get started. Hello, my baby Aries. Welcome to your love reading. Today, we will be doing a mini horoscope love reading. It is timeless, so whenever you stumble across this video, that is when you are meant to hear it. And so, Aries, let's get started. My fiery Aries, I hope you've all been doing amazing. Here we go. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides, thank you so much for allowing me to channel these messages for Aries. Can we please get some messages regarding Aries' love life? What does Aries need to know about their love life and love? What is going on for them? What is going on with Aries and love? Let's see. You already got the page of pentacles reversed. Just showing like um, oh, I, um, I want to say like a younger energy, but there's a blockage there. The world card. Okay. Okay. I feel like changes are coming your way. You're getting ready to close out a big chapter and start something new. It's interesting how that page of pentacles card came out reversed. Interesting. King of wands. Oh, okay. Aries, you care about, okay, I feel like you're getting ready to um, start a new chapter without someone. I feel like you've reached a point where you're um, someone who's in maybe anytime a page comes out reversed I always think of like an immature energy because pages are younger and when they're reversed they're just kind of um I feel like intuitively in this reading I feel like that's an an a person who isn't on your level in regards to yes maybe emotions but um home job career finances how they probably even look at these things like 
oh my God, don't hate me, you guys, but I want to say, do you even have a job? <laughs> what do you do here? I mean, not necessarily that, you know, offensive, but that is definitely what I heard in my head. That is what this makes me feel. And I feel like this world card, you're not bringing this in with this reverse with this king of wands reverse this is someone this is a masculine energy who knows what they want they see it they go for it and they're not afraid very passionate about the things that they have going on you have lots of masculine energy actually your whole reading is masculine energy so take that as it resonates um this king of wands reverse though because he is reversed i feel like this person is seeing what they want and then they're just don't care how they get it. Like they're probably, um, crossing boundaries. Um, just not really, you're just like, what are you doing is what it feels like, but it's because they see something they want. And it's probably you Aries king of cups, the king of cups cares deeply. So maybe this person does care deeply, but they're just not coming off as being the healthiest partner. If this was your partner or is your partner, they're not really coming, coming across as too in a positive light with what's going on here. But the king of cups is letting me know that they care deeply, even if they are faking it. Um, this person could still be in love with you. Maybe this is someone you're cutting out with this world card. There's no indication of moving on or letting go, but intuitively, I just don't see you bringing them into this next chapter in your life. There is um, deceit going on here. So maybe the way that this person has gone about trying to keep you in their life has been with, um, you know, reaching out in like pretending they want one thing, but in reality, they have ulterior motives is really the feeling that I'm getting here. Um, your bottom of the deck energy is the magician. So this is about manifesting. So if you want a new beginning without this person, you can totally do that. You can totally manifest that. If you want a new beginning with this person, you could also do that too. But I don't see that being what you want. I mean, I don't know. Is it what you want? Um, I feel like maybe at some point you were confused, but now there's a sense of clarity coming through. So with that magician, I, I definitely, I don't think you're going to manifest this person back into your life. I feel if anything, you're going to manifest them out of it. And you're probably like, wait, I don't necessarily have to do that anymore. What do I want? The magician has space and capacity to um, be in tune with themselves and bring in, you know, what's right for them. So my wonderful Aries, besides you leaving people behind that don't need to be there anymore. You know what? I don't even like to look at this guy. Let's put the world card so I can look at that when I'm doing your romance oracles. Here we go. Spirit, can we get a few more messages about Aries' love life, please? Can we get some messages about Aries' love life? Here we go. Anything else, Spirit? All right, let's stick with those. You guys got a lot. Put that back. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. So let's start from over here. Keep an open mind. So I feel like... Um, with that manifestation card, remember I said, like, you're in tune and you're thinking, like, what do I want? I feel like when you manifest, it's not going to be like, a, I want a partner that looks like this and drives this and does this. It's more of a manifest a type of energy that you want in your life. 
and keep an open mind when it comes in is the feeling that I'm getting from that. Because sometimes when things come in for us, they might look slightly different than what we had envisioned, but this is Spirit's way of telling you keep an open mind, um, especially because that manifestation card showed up for you. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership is coming up and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. So I feel like when this person comes in, I feel like we're talking about a different person because I don't see that King of Wands reverse character like turning it around. Now, this is a collective reading, so your situation could differ and maybe you resonate with different parts of what I'm saying and that's totally fine too. Um, but if this is a new person that is coming in with this world card, um, I do feel like there is a sense that it's not going to look like what you thought it was. Or, I mean, this is just kind of, I feel like the messages of like, give it a chance, keep an open mind. Like, I don't know, you guys will have to slide into my DMs and keep me posted on that. This could be a person from your past if you don't want it to be, it doesn't have to be. Like, if you've closed all those doors, hey, I hear you. Like, that's totally fine, too. But for someone, this feels like it's someone coming back from the past. And maybe that's what you're being asked to keep an open mind about. Retreat. That's always like the um, the Four of Swords to me, which is the rest card. You, um, it says, retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. So I do think that maybe some downtime is going to help you see um, clearly through what it is is going on here. Um, I'm very curious about that, the energies in the tarot. And so my Aries friends, let me give that a little adjustment. Think of your yes or no question and let's see what the pendulum has for you. It's kind of been um, giving us a lot of maybes and definitelys. I think we got a no way as well but we haven't gotten any ask of friends. <laughs> maybe, the answer is maybe for you. You know what, let me adjust this little thing because I'm starting to think it got a little crooked. We're gonna try it again, okay guys? Let's see if it says maybe again, then that's it. We're taking the maybe, but for you, I did a little adjustment. For the previous readings that got a maybe, I felt like that was kind of it because those were pretty cut and dry. All right. Well, that was interesting. It went from sticking it yes, passing maybe, and it went to definitely. So my Aries loves takes take that as it resonates. Same for the entire reading. I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.